All right, in the uh, next video or two, we're going to go over basically finding random values with Cheat Engine. We, we Obviously, we know how to find values. There's a whole uh, series in all the previous videos, you know, sort of go over, you know, the values, their types, and, and yada, yada, yada. Um, but it, it, it's kind of, when I was watching the previous videos, what I, I sort of felt was, you know, we diverged way out in the theory. And, uh, you know, none of it is, is, is at the moment anyway, none of it is um, useful unless, you know, you're jumping ahead and, and you already know how to write scripts and, and, and whatnot. Then, you know, maybe some of that stuff makes sense and, and it's, you know, functionally useful for you, as the case may be. But uh, basically what we're going to do here is open up a game, Shadow and Returns. We're going to fire up Cheat Engine. We're going to attach Cheat Engine to that game. And we're just going to sort of go through different scenes um, and save games and, and things like that. And we're just going to kind of go over how to find um, specific values that, that we are interested in. Not not just Karma at the character creation screen. You know, we'll go over, you know, health, uh, selected unit health, um, because that'll just be easy to find. Um, you know, action points, uh, money, things like that. So, again... None of this stuff will work if you restart the game or load a different game, but for the purposes of just making a single instance of a game easier, that, that's something that we're going to jump into right now, and it'll, it should be slightly more appealing than me sitting here talking about signed bits and things like that. Um, so let, let's just dive right in. So again, when, when we approach the 15 minute mark, I'll cut this off and, and, and I'll put up uh, companion video as the case may be, but uh, we're going to start up Cheat Engine. It's going to ask us for our access control, obviously. Run it as admin. Yep. Start the game. Nothing crazy. So, new game. Uh, let me think about this real quick. Uh, we're going to start a new game. It's going to go to the thing. We're going to answer the phone. We're going to go to combat. Uh, yeah, alright, we'll do that. So, for our purposes, we're just, you know, it doesn't matter, obviously. Uh, we're sex agnostic, which, you know, it's not a bad thing to be, I suppose. So, gonna be a troll. Uh, random, uh, roll your own character. Yep. The only, the only thing we're interested right in right now, as far as uh, this game is concerned, is longevity. So, we obviously, we want to be able to take as much damage as possible so that we can, um have the rounds or basically have the combat extend indefinitely or or maybe not maybe indefinitely is the wrong word but certainly have the combat extend um a, as much as possible because you know we're going to use uh the combat rounds to our advantage when we start looking for things like action points and things like that so uh as a side note we have new wallpaper here new mascot uh, she'll probably, I have a feeling that this mascot will probably stick around for a little bit. Uh, she's, uh, you know, hot, but subdued, and, and I, I'm into that sort of thing, so. Anyway, we have our game. Gonna, uh, alt-tab, uh, to Cheat Engine here. Attach, uh, Cheat Engine to our process. Again, all basic stuff that we've done before. What's the available karma in the game? 27. Hit enter. It scans. Change the value. We'll change it to something crazy, or, you know, not crazy, but we'll make the jump between two values, something uh, decent. And there you go, two values. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, change one. Do that. Alright, so, values one. Change this to 100. We're going to have 100 karma. Click that. There you go. So, you know, we're going to, again, in the interest of longevity, we want our character to be as good as possible basically immortal so that we can use the game as a playground and and just sort of uh don't mess with it with whatever rules we want so how are we going to do that well we're going to give ourselves an obscene amount of karma i'm going to go down here do we need pistol yeah you know what we'll we'll bring this up a little bit so that we can uh spend action points in a you know in a way that we control uh, SMG, shotgun, rifle, dodge. Uh, we'll bring up dodge to increase our survivability. Um, as far as the actual, you know, weapon 
proficiencies. I don't really care about that. We're going to have a pistol to start with at the beginning of the game. We have strength. Uh, let's see. Uh, calculate hit chance. Uh, how far a grenade can be thrown. I don't really care about any of that. Intelligence. Definitely don't care about that as far as uh, longevity is going. Uh, willpower. We'll, we'll bring willpower up because that reduces magic damage. And that, that's something we'll have to deal with when we start the game. Uh, charisma. It's indifferent. So. What do we have here? Well, we have a troll with max body, so we can absorb just a ridiculous amount of damage. And uh, we never have to worry about anything. Uh, or at least as far as the initial scenario um, of the game is concerned. So, what are we going to name our character? Uh, what is, is something that expresses a ridiculous amount of power? We'll just call our character Uber. Nothing more than that. It does the job. It expresses the concept nicely. The game loads, wait for it to load, continue, it's great. So, what are we going to have here? Bring up the PDA, you should have a crap load of karma left over. In fact, we do. We could go back into the karma screen, we could bring up our SMGs, you know, and, and yada yada yada, but we're not going to do any of that. Uh, that's sort of immaterial. So, what do we want to do right now? Well, we want to get ourselves into a situation where we can start finding values. Um, that 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 we think are, or just, you know, we want to start finding values that we're concerned with. So, uh, what are the values that we're concerned with? Well, you know, they could be karma, uh, but we've already figured that one out. We don't have to worry about, you know, what is the karma in the actual game? Who cares about that? We figured out the character creation. We can give ourselves a ridiculous, a ridiculous amount of karma, um, and we can go from there. So there's no reason to, you know, are you loading a save game? Sure. Then, you know, maybe you have to actually, you know, uh, find the current value for karma and refilter, but it's going to be no more complicated than what we've uh, done in the previous videos. So I'm going to just assume, or we are just going to assume that karma is a done deal. We can find the value. We can change the value. And there, there's no more mystery um, as far as that goes. So what's something else that we might want to find? Well, you know, maybe we want to find, uh, you know, the health of a character. And in our case, the, you know, we have a body of, uh, where is that? I don't even see it. Oh, yeah, body 17. Well, you know, we have uh, hit points of 170. Yeah, that's a little ridiculous, but it's fine. So, you know, we could search for 170, but we have no way of actually controlling this value right now. So, uh, you know, could we, you know, make it less than 170 or more than 170? No. I mean... We're not in combat. We're just walking around right now in the game. So we have no way to actually control this uh, variable or set up an environment um, to reference a previous video. So uh, what about action pool? That's nothing that we can really control because, again, you know, we're in the open world. Uh, action points aren't being spent. So we're sort of a scenario where, you know, we want to start a new game. We want to start a new character. We want to be awesome. But, we, you know, we can set up karma to the point where... You know, we can change all the values um, as far as uh, character attributes or statistics go, and, and we can be awesome. But as far as, you know, the health or the money um, or anything like that, we have no way of, of actually changing that value or, or finding that value. Um, and just a, a quick point that it, this video is not going to deal with um, dynamic uh, memory or, or recurring or pointers or anything like that. This, this video is... is Strictly going over just how to find um, values in general, and, and that's it. So I'm not gonna, you know, you know, oh hey, you know, we find uh, the health, and then we, you know, load a game or, or restart the game or something like that. It, the health uh, value that we find in in the next series of videos is is not gonna exist, uh, or it may exist in memory. Obviously, it will exist in memory, but assigning values to it after you load a game or, or something like that is, is going to do you no good. It, you know, might even crash your game. So, again, uh, just to sort of go over it, uh, just, you know, to beat a dead horse, as the case may be, we are going to go over how to find different values for the character in combat or out of combat, whatever we, we, we are interested in, um, how to find those values, how to change those values. And, you know, maybe if some of them are tricky, then, uh, you know, we'll go over how to deal with some of the trickiness of those values. But uh, for the most part, you know, this should be pretty straightforward stuff. We're just going to take the methods we use to find the karma during character creation, and we're just going to apply those to 
the different attributes of our character. You know, it might be hit points, might be action pool, it might be magic or essence or something like that. Uh, whatever, whatever the value might be, we're just going to take the same methods, apply them to different values, and we should be pretty much good to go. And uh, we, we, we will go uh, from there in the next video.